Do we know yet what the cardiac complications are? We don't know for sure, but what we do know is that uh, that these the overall rates of these sorts of cardiac complications are pretty low. So what we really need, unfortunately, even though it is a month and a half or a year and a half in, uh, we still need more research to, to figure this out. The percentage numbers are there, and we can all do scientific notation, 10 to the minus whatever. Forget about the math of it. People are going to compare cardiac internal medicine com uh, uh, complications to, say, the flu or a cold or pneumonia. Are they equivalent, or is this much worse? It is It is worse. Uh, it's substantially worse than the flu or the cold. Pneumonia depends on what kind of pneumonia you're talking about. But um, uh, we can draw the comparisons all we want. This is still um, a, a more deadly um, and a, a more serious infection by far than, than just the, the flu or the cold. And Dr. Dowdy, this brings up long COVID and what we know in terms of how long long COVID lasts, how prevalent these uh, long existing symptoms are. What's the latest on that? So the, the prevalence of, of these symptoms depends on who you compare it to, um, but it's, uh, it's certainly a real thing uh, and certainly at least one in, in 10 to 20 people um, experience these symptoms beyond kind of three months. How long it lasts? Um, it, we're still figuring that out. Um, you know, the longer you go, the, the fewer symptoms there are. Um, but um, but it, it definitely persists, and, and for some people, uh, has persisted as long as we've been tracking their symptoms. Meanwhile, Dr. Dowdy, it is getting cooler. Uh, kids are back in school for the most part, and they are starting to expose each other to whatever germs they have, despite the best efforts to keep their masks on. Are illnesses that are not COVID more severe because of the one-year uh, hiatus between getting infected with anything? Are our immune systems down so much that other illnesses can have a more severe impact? So it's probably not because of the... Uh the immune system being down, but rather because our immune systems haven't seen these things for a, a year and a half because we've, we've all been hunkering down, uh, it's possible. We don't know if, uh, if things like the flu are going to be more serious this year, but it's definitely a possibility and it's something we're keeping an eye on. It's uh, all the more important to get that flu vaccine this year. Is Delta fading away? Is the Delta virus fading away? I think it was the India virus before it was the Delta virus. I can't remember now. But, you know, I look at the maps in the Washington Post, the New York Times, Bloomberg, the wonderful FT work great. Can you say we've really rounded the corner? I think we have rounded the corner. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's not another surge in front of us, but, uh, but cases are definitely going down. Uh, and, and all those cases are Delta. So I wouldn't say it's fading away. Uh, we're still at about 100,000 cases a day, so it's still a, a big deal. But, um, but it, is, it, it is going down, and it looks to be a real trend. Where are we on masks? I was on Fifth Avenue yesterday, and I noticed for the first time a real dearth of masks out there. There were a lot of people walking around without masks on in a very fully vaccinated New York City as well. Where do you stand on masks, Dr. Dowdy? Well, I think right now we're still seeing enough transmission that is still a, a smart thing to, to wear masks. It's more important indoors than outdoors. Um, but uh, I think we're still in a place where we need to be keeping those masks on. Dr. Dowdy, I got to be honest, people are getting sick of COVID. We're kind of done with this. And I'm wondering how long we can have to sort of keep going at some of these same topics again and again at a time when we do have prevalence, but hospitalizations are going down. When can we stop? Yeah, well, um, I think I'm sick of it too. <laughs> but I think that uh, we um, we still have uh, a little ways to go. Um, I, I do hope that this surge might be the the last big surge, and um, and we might be turning that corner. Uh, so so there's there's reason to hope that in the next. Uh, you know, two or three months, we're, we're going to be back down to, to where things were um, before, though, though no one can ever say for sure. Um, I, I do think that we're going to be living with this for, um, you know, at some level for, for many years, but, um, but hopefully not at the, the, the kind of, um, you know, to where it's going to be making on, uh, on your news stations all the time. 